Broadcasting from high atop the Pallet Tribune headquarters in Celadon City, this is WTPT Pokemon Radio. Welcome to the ultimate episode of WTPT. I'm Joey. I'm projecting. <laughs> also known as Casey. That's me. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this stuff out of my mouth. And uh, we have two guests with us today. Um, our favorite listeners turned forum moderators turned co- guest hosts. And business partners. <laughs> JV, Justin V, whatever I am now. What am I now? You have an JV. identity crisis, Justin? I don't know. <laughs> You're my best friend. That's what you are. Oh. You feel so great. And who are you? And me, Josie. That's right. So, uh, and I'm just a schmuck. <laughs> Josie is the fourth of our posse tonight on the final. Yeah, this is our, I guess this is our farewell episode. <laughs> we, did, we did promise you'd come back for one last episode. Yes, and now you're not a liar. And, and now I'm not a liar. And, uh, and I guess this is my final episode also now. So this is, this is it. Oh, man. Dun, Get the handkerchiefs. <laughs> a little we're, sad. We're, we're, all the four of us are uh, at PAX East here in Boston, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Blech. Massachusetts. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, we figured it would be a good time to get this all done, and uh, here we are. Finally, we'll give you some closure. Some closure. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So why don't we all talk about what we've been up to for the past, how many years has it been since we re- last released the podcast? Two or three? Uh, three years? Two years? It's probably something like that. Oh, it's wow. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's probably even longer for the last time KC joined me for podcasts because we did a few. Right. After, a couple of special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, there was KPT for, KTBT for a little while. Right, 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 right. Um, well, I'll, I'll start off. Why, why not? Oh, um, go crazy. So let's see. What have I been up to? Uh, I Since I've been working on TPT less, I started working on my Subway art blog more, which is uh, a blog I do about art in the New York City subway system. Uh, and it focuses on the sort of like street art stuff, like the, uh, the and the graffiti. Um, and uh, at some point, I was I, it was featured in the New York Times, which was really cool. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. I uh, I made a zine out of it a few months ago, and that um, I was actually exhibiting uh, or showing that zine and selling that zine at uh, the MoMA's Art Book Fair uh, this past win- wait, this past summer was it? Yeah, something like that. Um, and, uh, I also have started curating my first two art shows, uh, at the beginning of this year. And, um, so that's been really cool. Other than that, I've been, uh, working at the same place for the last five, almost six years. Well, uh, just over five years now. Uh, and I'm a project manager, uh, for a software development team at my job. And, um, uh, what else is there? And I play the ukulele a lot. <laughs> That's really what the listeners were waiting to hear. Ukulele. Is the ukulele being utilized part of Joey's life? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are there any ukulele Pokemon yet? I mean, after we got ice cream cones, I wouldn't surprise. The closest is, I believe, Cricketune is supposed to look like a violin. Oh, yeah. oh that's true. Or a bass. Right. Cello. Yeah. A cello. Something yeah. like that. He's, a, he's one of those things. Depends on the scale. A viola da gamba. Ooh, fancy! What's this new one called? That's uh, being that's uh, there's an event right now. Meloda. Oh, Meliota. Melo- or... Oh, Melo- She's music Melo- related. Meloetta. Melo- yeah. They call me Meloetta. Meloetta. Melo- 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the new one. <laughs> She's the diva. <laughs> the diva Pokemon. I like it. She had that little thing, the microphone that comes around to the front of her face. What? You didn't notice that? No, I didn't notice that. That note thing. It looks like a note, but it's not like a microphone. It looks oh, like, a, like a yeah. like a sta- she's, got, yeah. she's got a headpiece. So she's yeah. like the uh, the Britney Spears. Right. Basically. Pokemon. Oh, right. I'm glad I never downloaded it. Someday <laughs> her and Hatsune Miko have to do a joint joint album. She does look like she'd fit into that little world. Yeah, they both got green hair. And they, oh man, that... I think I just stepped on a multi-trillion dollar idea right there. <laughs> wait, <laughs> speaking of which, wait, have you noticed that Vullaby, do you know, do you see that diaper that Vullaby wears? Yes, I remember. And you know what, did you ever look at the diaper? No. If you look it upside down, it's a skull. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. That does, yeah. With the feet coming out of the eye holes. My mind is blown. That is the now. darkest, most evil thing <laughs> since... Skull diaper. Since, Q, <laughs> since Cubone wearing his dead mother's skull. There's another product idea right there. A multi-trillion dollar idea. Skull diapers. <laughs> <laughs> you can sell them to nerd diapers. mommies and daddies. Oy vey. So, Casey, what you been up to? Oh, man, I'm busy beaver. Um, well, for a while, I was... Just um, you know, focusing on work and stuff like that, and I had to stay away from TPD for you know a few reasons, both work related and just life. I, I gotta level with you guys though; it is it is really hard. As anyone who's tried to do something consistently for a long time in their life, it it, it, it is really hard for me to, to do something focused so much on this one, not even just a genre, this one series of Pokemon. And there's some guys that do it, and they've been doing it for a long time, and God bless them. I just wasn't able to. Uh, I think that's one of the big contributing factors. I wasn't able to keep up with that, and uh, I needed to spread out. So that's kind of why I, I still love Pokemon, and that's kind of why I made the blog that I'm doing now, which is the Pocket Players, and I started that up, um, you know, because I still want to keep, you know, kind of tap, you know, the same world as like Pokemon, but be able to do some other things and play some different games in my life, you know. Uh, yeah, I did feel like some days I was like, oh, I want to review Mystery Dungeon for our next podcast, but I, I, I felt like I was forcing myself to play stuff, and I was like, that's wasn't a great place for me to be. I think, you know, I, I, I don't think I could produce as good a work as you guys deserved <laughs> um, with that. So that's my newest thing, and we'll probably talk more about that later on. But uh, that's. The biggest thing, and uh, I bought my own place. I have a co-op in you know New York now. Uh, I don't have any kids. Uh, I'm still married. Uh, I know that we posted that on the blog, right? That I got married. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so just you know, life's life's been very busy for old married KC now. Did everyone chip in and buy you presents? Uh, <laughs> We tried to keep it low key. We didn't want any of you guys sending me like you know shinies for my. <laughs> I got him a hacked shiny uh, Porygon. Oh, though, though Joe did, though Joe did notice. Uh, he did call out, uh, "Hey, uh, your mom dressed like a Gotharita at your wedding." <laughs> what? My mother, she her dress and just the way her makeup and just her general demeanor. I'll say. Oh, oh, oh. wow! Not happy you're getting married, huh? Oh, uh, she was not. She just not a very happy person in general but uh, and i know she's not going to listen to this podcast so i'm going all that uh, yeah but she had kind of a gotharita uh, kind of appearance and <laughs> yeah it was funny like, it reminded her dress reminded me of gotharita yeah but better than like jinx or something <laughs> No, I don't think about it. <laughs> she does have the purple skin tone. <laughs> Justin, what you been up to? I've been through a lot, actually. Ever since uh, starting TPT or joining that whole community, I actually progressed through college. Whoa. And now I've finished with college, and I have my own... Not, I not have my own business, but I'm actually a working man now. Whoa. Working at a local... Uh, Startup at Austin. Uh-huh. Think you're smarter exactly. than me, college boy? <laughs> Think you're better than me? Think you're better than me? You're better than me? <laughs> I heard that's what you guys say up here. Right? <laughs> Think you're better than me? Up here in Bean Town, New oh, England. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's, other than being a technical consultant for Casey's PocketPlayers.com blog. Uh, what is your official title? Executive Techno Geek. That is correct. That is what, so what it says on his business card. Yeah. That's right. We have business cards now, too. Yeah, handing those out. And yeah. <laughs> feels really official now. It does. <laughs> other than that, nothing really that big. Other than That's big it. life changes. <laughs> How long ago did you move out of your parents' house? Uh, one, two years ago. So that's a big thing. That's yeah. like, it's, it's, it's always impossible. I find like, the hardest things in the world. You run into someone you haven't seen for five years. You gotta give them that, like, Five sentence update of your life. This happened. Then this. Then this. Then this. Yeah, and then you're always like, "Oh wait, I forgot to tell them. I'm a woman now." <laughs> By the way, Casey's a woman now. That was part of it. I wanted to be, I, I wanted to be like my favorite voice actor. <laughs> Who's, Who's your favorite, favorite voice, voice actor? actor? Oh, it's gonna be some anime person, isn't it? Oh, I'll let the viewers figure that joke out. I, that reference I just made out. I think one in ten might know who I'm referencing. I don't think any. What? All right, I'll just come out with it. <laughs> the voice, the original voice of Meowth. Oh, oh Maddie Blaustein. Maddie Blaustein. Oh, she rest in peace. Ah, oh, yeah, she, she died? Oh, she yeah. died. I wrote her obituary for us uh, a while back. 
We put an obituary on the site uh, for her. She good, was great. Good choice. She also did some uh, other video games that I mentioned. Uh, in Valkyrie Profile. I mentioned in the podcast we talked about it, but uh, uh, Valkyrie Profile, she did like uh, one of the, the villain, Lazard Valeth. One of the best voices. I, I, you want, it doesn't sound anything like Meowth or anything like that. It's just such an awesome, smart, smarmy villain voice. And she I, was great. And I have a Marvel comic book that she actually drew when she was working for Marvel. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so she, she's an artist she, also. Yeah, she lived, she lived in Brooklyn, so uh-huh. she knew a lot of people at Marvel. It was, uh, it was a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ripoff, I think, with elephants. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to find. <laughs> was it an intentional parody? or? I hope so. <laughs> it was, it wasn't, I didn't think it was that great. The it, world may never know. Yeah. What you been up to, Joe? Nothing. I was going to say, when you get all of your done, nothing changes forever. So I have not been up to much. Still living in Boston. Good. That's about it. And partying with us, which is yes, the highlight. Yeah, it's been uh, a year or two since I've seen you guys. And I gotta say, I mean, you know, you might say you're the old guy, but I mean, out of everybody here, which one of us didn't show up for drinks and partying in Mm, cool parts of Bean Town? I did not show up. Why was, did it show up? It was 30 minutes away on, what? A, on a, what, bus? Subway? What? what public transit? <laughs> what? Uh, the MBTA officially will not call that a bus. <laughs> what Every time it? someone calls it a bus, they correct them and call it, I forgot what. They're not supposed to call the silver line a bus. Elongated transport it's a, device. It's a bus. It's a bus. <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, we missed Joe. We had fun. I bet you guys did have fun, but... We talked about everything. I was really tempted we, to get a rental Especially car, you. Here. <laughs> what did you guys say? I'm scared. Um, nothing. Anyway, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so what I want to do for this episode is sort of just like, just go through the whole story of the site, really, and uh, share some fun moments and... Uh, reminisce. I don't know, reminisce, you know, mm. just, just do what we're doing right now, sit here having fun. Yeah. We, 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 we Even before we started recording, we were just like, we were just shooting the breeze and talking about so many good stories, and we were like... Man, we should have got that on tape. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is a good time to like. This put is us in... getting it on tape. Yeah, <laughs> with one microphone in between all of us. <laughs> so I'll start uh, with a kind of history of the website, um, and I guess that what better way to start that than uh, with how I got the name. Um, the Pokemon Times. The Pokemon His Times is... th- was a fan of Joseph the Saint. <laughs> oh god. Oh, sorry. No, 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 that, uh... Too far back. Too far back. Oh, no, sorry. No, not that. <laughs> um, the name of the website. <laughs> okay. Uh, the original name of the website was not Palette Tribune, of course. It was uh, the Pokemon Times. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually got that name as like a teenager, right when Pokemon first started getting popular in America. Uh, Nintendo had like uh, this column in Nintendo Power, and they also use this logo and some other like random uh, uh, pu- uh, promotional materials and whatnot. But it was basically a little newsletter that they made up called the Pokemon Times, and um, the, I used the logo of that. I scanned it and I created like a little website. And uh, this was again, this was be- way before podcasting even existed. So what I did was. I created a website and I posted a few like wave files of me and my friends uh, Keith and Vinny, uh, just t- talking about um, Pokemon, and uh, it was pretty well received for what it was. Uh, it appeared on a on a newsletter which uh, was very popular in the in in the states even before Pokemon came out called the Pikachu Post. Uh, there was a guy named Cameron who did this this huge newsletter, young young, young kid. Uh, and we worked with him, and he posted links to our episodes on that, and that's how we started, uh, you know, getting our names out there. Now, uh, that ended after about three episodes. We didn't really do much after that um, for quite a while. Uh, and then, in co- after, as I was graduating college, that's when uh, Diamond and Pearl came out, and so me and KC, uh, or the guy formerly known as Keith, uh, <laughs> uh, we were talking, we were like, oh, we, we had just finished uh, doing our former podcast called Game Station Radio, which was defunct for a little while at the point, and we were like, oh, we need to do something, let's do something, uh, what, what, what kind of podcast, what would be a cool podcast to do, and we were like, hey, this Pokemon thing's getting popular again, it's like online now, you know, and there's like a lot of topics to cover, and no one else is doing it, so 
Uh, so that's how we decided to start uh, TPT again. And um, and so we naturally we were like, all right, we're going to do a Pokemon podcast. Let's take the old the name for this old website we used. Mm-hmm. And it was the Pokemon Times. And obviously the podcast was WTPT for the Pokemon Times. Um, and, uh, you know, that's that's how it started. It was a very simple website with a podcast. And uh, eventually we added forums and had the giant community based uh behind it and did videos and live podcasts and all this sort of stuff. Every one of those steps is something I remember something to, but like, I, I remember th- I actually, um, <clears throat> just recently, uh, talking about the, 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 the original Nintendo Power Pokemon Times thing, uh, I just recently, like, had to trash a bunch of my old Nintendo Powers, but I kept a small selection of, like, you know, this is too valuable to me. I must keep this. Oh, the Super Mario Brothers comic, whatever. I still have, like, four or five of those of those, uh, epi- of those Pokemon times, and I've been taking pictures. I've been trying to scan everything. Because oh, on my side, I do the Thursday, Throwback Thursdays, which I uh, haven't done in a couple of weeks. But uh, I do want I, – probably the week we post this, I'll put up the uh, a scan of the original first – the Pokemon Times from the Nintendo Power, and that had like lots of good. I even saw someone though uh, make a comment on like Reddit saying like Professor was giving you like bad advice because they had <laughs> Professor Oak in there, and like one of his tips was like uh, is like you should be be careful. You're a Master Ball. You only get one Master Ball. You should do something rare like a Fero or a Tentacruel or Fero. <laughs> wow. Like really, Professor? He, he's just trolling. Yeah. Wow. And then they started a meme of, like, evil Professor Oak, like, giving you bad advice. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. But I just remember us, like, being, like, at at some point before we started, I was being like, man, I wish wish we could listen to some people talking about Pokemon. Why isn't any podcast or whatever we're calling it? Right, yeah. We started getting into it. And, like, at the time, we were seasoned podcasters, you know? And we were like, "Why isn't anyone doing this well?" Yeah. Like, there's I want random, random yeah. kids just like, yeah. t- like talking just too wanted... close into the microphone. And stuff. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted to listen to someone talking about Pokemon. I didn't want to make it. I just wanted to listen to it. But they were like, "All right, let's make it." And then the irony was, I can't listen to our own podcast. Just I can't listen to my own voice. Right. It just makes me awkward. Not us neither. <laughs> 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 I'm so used to it at this point because I was the one who edited all the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> when did you get involved? I think it was about the time you guys actually had an iWeb website and there was an, a Zat chat room right. embedded oh, in the gosh, website. Yes. I remember uh, looking for a Pokemon podcast and being like, oh, WTBT, that's cool. It's starting up. I'll join it, join the community. Hopped in, saw the website. Looked terrible. <laughs> uh, so I, was, I reached out to one of you guys and said, hey, I can help you make a website and maybe do other stuff with this. And it just went forward from there. That's right, really right. Really yeah. Really Justin helped me set up the uh, the forums, and uh, that was get of out of iWeb. Get out of iWeb. Joey yes. was using iWeb. Who uses that? I, uh, that was before I knew how to do anything with, <laughs> with WordPress. <laughs> with that um, I see. How did you? How did you uh, first hear about us? Oh, the pod- well, you know, I just started playing Pokemon. I think a year or two before that. Whenever Fire Red came out, that was the first game because I. I played it to, uh, so I, me and my nephew could have something in common. So uh, he was a big Pokemon fiend. Ah, that little boy just turned 17 yesterday. Yikes. Anyway. How many years ago was what? the last time he played Pokemon? Him or me? Him. <laughs> oh, actually, I, he, uh, I heard him uh, defeat the Elite Four. He did it over the phone in black and white. Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> so cool. he still plays. Still so he still does. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and so, you know, and then I got an I, I got the first iPhone that came out in 2007. And I'm like, oh, I, you know, I'm going to listen to some podcasts. And I'm looking around and, and there were some Pokemon podcasts and they were terrible, except this one. <laughs> and then I went, it was oh, called I Puckle, like right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Oh, later. yeah. Um, so this one was like the only one I liked. I said, oh, it was like the other ones I couldn't even stand. So. I said, oh, this is pretty nice. And then I wrote a letter, and you read it, and I went, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you started doing chat rooms and stuff, I started getting involved. Cool. I remember when we st- first started that chat room thing, and then uh, Joey got the idea of, like, you know, he was very good, like, social motivator, and he wanted to start, like, the live chat nights. And I still remember, like, the first night, like, we had, like, one person just show up. Do you know who that was? Oh, it was, it was the same person, I feel like, who challenged and beat me with their shuckle. 
Um, we had a, we had, we had a fight while we had a full battle. I was using. I like, bet if we look look back in our emails, we could find out. Who yeah. That was. Um, but I just remember we just had one person. We're like, all right, you know. So we just hung out with one person. Um, and then like you know, just like the next couple of weeks later, we did another one, and like we had like two people. And then after a while, it became just a thing that was like really popular with everybody there. And like you know, we had like what like twenty people just hanging out at least a night. Was this the wait? Was this the live? It was the chat room, not the live chat, right? No, I mean yeah, like the chat room, yeah, yeah, the right, chat room, right. yeah. Um, but I, I just remember that. And then someone in there uh, one night who came in wanted to give us a gift, and they gave us like a, a shiny Mew at like level two, and they're like, "No, I swear this isn't hacked. Uh-huh. I swear <laughs> I treated it from my friend in school." And I'm like, you know, I I think they were like in fourth or fifth grade at the time, <laughs> and I was just like, I- "I'll accept this, gracious, thank you, thank you." He's like, "No, it's real." Like, uh. I've said it on the podcast before, but. But uh, the only uh, hacked Pokemon I ever accepted was uh, was a hacked shiny Porygon, because I, wow. I thought that made made perfect sense, you know, to, to have a hacked. Pokemon. I was gonna say, is that right? That Rabsol. Oh, God. Rabsol. How Rabsol. did what that was Rab- Yeah, what was Rabsol again? It's been so long. I can't believe you remember that. Oh, yeah. uh, was that one of our uh, April Fools jokes? No, that was just one of those things. Oh, somebody like oh, no. did, did like a kid like accidentally like say like Rabsol. Because they because the shiny version of Absol is. Red, and they thought. I think they saw that, and they thought it was something new. I I don't know how exactly, but I just I'm I'm guessing it came about because there was a red Absol, which is legitimate, and they just maybe thought it was something. They called it Rabsol. I, I, I don't know. I do remember though. We uh, for for one of the like the meetup nights, we uh, went into the chat room. Oh, we yeah, bred yeah. a bunch of Absols and <laughs> named it <laughs> Rabsol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have one of those somewhere. <laughs> I have some shiny Absols I could rename Rabsol and send them out to people. That'd be a fun uh, uh, promotion. But uh, oh, that was that thing. And then what we, other? We eventually did some like live broadcasts. Yeah. Those were funny too. Uh, Casey dropped uh, the uh, the curse attack. The curse That's attack. what they call. Attack. They love that one. The yeah. curse attack. All right. How many how many of you listening right now were there? For my live cooking show on our live broadcast, you did a live cooking show. Yes. I did not. I was. I don't there. remember that at all. No, at either. least ten people were there and are and are like glowing right now. I remember the first, <laughs> the first were... couple of live ones were just like basically you on the screen, yeah, doing something. But I don't remember a cooking one. No, I I, uh, I was just hanging out with some friends and I was telling them about my podcast and and they were really interested in it and they were like they didn't believe that I had such a crazy community behind it and oh, so geez. so we just logged into the chat room and I was like hey guys I'm starting up a, a live broadcast and like I did a cooking show or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually remember that yeah yeah didn't you like a uh, fry up a coelacanth or something like that yeah <laughs> relicanth oh, relicanth <laughs> I get my no real team. world no real world <laughs> I know I blow their minds. <laughs> I remember um Single rent stories. <laughs> the, the, yeah, that too. Our commercials, those are we, oh, hey, yeah. when we first oh, were doing man. we always did the commercials. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we scripted some really funny stuff. And it just it takes a lot of work. Right. And, that, you know, that, that was when we put a lot of effort oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we actually you, cared. You stopped doing that. Oh I felt so bad. I love those commercials. Those yeah, good. They were really funny. And we did those even I think we even did some of those for the uh the Play Game Station Radio. We did that. Yeah, I think we yeah. did some of those, and Hermes would like, uh, or Kit Keitlinger <laughs> would uh, Photoshop up some like fake pics of the games we talked about or whatever. Joe, but, what were some of some of your favorite commercials? Do you remember any of them? The one, what was the Team Rocket? Yeah, I was one? about to say the exact yeah, same one. The yeah. Team Rocket Beauty Salon. Right, right. <laughs> they play it. They play it kind of straight, but it's obvious. Yeah, it's really funny. What was it? it was oh funny. yeah, no, it's, it was a party like, because they ran like or they, they pretend. Did the voices really. It was well actually that. something from the anime. Yeah, that was it. We that took it from thing, the anime. Yeah. We're like, let's go with it, and. Uh, Oh, uh, Salon Roquet. Yes, yeah, Salon, Salon Roquet. Roquet. <laughs> right. That was it. Oh, Salon Roquet. That was beautiful. Oh, oh, my God. And you did the voices. That was so funny. I we, swear, if you can find that little Meowth clip. mix. We did the Meowth, Meowth mix. Yeah, Meowth, 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 <laughs> That was one of the first ones, I think. Uh, we did the Snow, the snow Run stories. stories. We told, like, how's the little Snow Run going to get out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I know we did the one, um, the Cult of Arceus. We did like one, like, oh, join us, oh, Arceus. Right. Yeah. Wow. I that. <laughs> it was like a Scientology knock, I think, or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we used to we used to sit in my my, my uh, actually at the time yeah. it was my parents' house. Yeah, uh, and uh, took us a while to brainstorm. Up, did we do it? Like, did we actually spend two days on each podcast back then? 
I don't. Did, did mm. you used to come over and then like I, the next day we record, or did I, we actually just do that before? I just remember back then. I know I crashed at your place like every weekend anyway, and I think we would like plan stuff like one night, and then I would just fall asleep planning stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, yeah, at some point we would like record things. I I was like the nutty neighbor for the Joey household. Like I was like <laughs> the one who like comes in like, hey, Mrs. A, whatever, and then like the eat four, their food. Those poor people. <laughs> Uh, I just remember, like, I knew I was, like, integrated into a household, like, too much when, like, I got there one day, and I think his mother had to go, like, pick up some kids from practice. Oh, hey, can you watch, um, you know, the little one while I go pick up the other kids from there? Like, okay. She's like, oh, by the way, dinner's on the stove. Like, she knew I was coming because I just always do. She just said, hey, there's a pot of stuff. Go eat that and make sure my kids don't get hurt. Joey, Joey won't be home for tonight's Christmas family photo. Uh, what are you, <laughs> Uh, another one of my favorite things we used to do is the Halloween episodes. Those were always oh awesome. yeah. Uh, do, you, do you do much much fictional writing anymore? Those I try to keep all right? my fiction. I try to keep all my writing exercised. Uh, mm. But now the the blog. I mean that's pretty much every all free. Writing. Yeah, I I, I really got to keep that flex. But I I don't want to ever let fictional writing slip out either. You know. Um, but yeah, no, the, those were good because like it was a big task. And when I, you know, and, but I always felt really good, you know, doing those. And right. I, people just gave me, you know, it's one of those situations where I would finish writing. I'm like, this is garbage. This can't be that good. But then I'd always Every get. Every writer's goes I know, that. I know. And then you, they. You hate writing, but you always love, love having written. Right, exactly. And, you know, just the people gave us such good responses. I felt like I had to do it. And that's the best because otherwise I wouldn't keep forcing myself to do those. And, uh. I was into like you know uh, what's it, Lovecraft stories at the time. I was about oh, really? to say. Yeah. I was into those, and I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like it's just such an awesomely off mix to make Pokemon stories <laughs> based on Lovecraft. Cthulhu. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just fun uh, to do something different. So uh, another one of my favorite things we did, or a regular, another one of our regular features, I should say, is. Uh, was the question of the Fortnite. Yes, which <laughs> which lives on. We have adopted that on the Pocket Players. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. very Oh, good. no, yes, we have been. In fact, what... Do we, you do the podcast every two weeks? Uh, we do a, a joint podcast every two oh, weeks. okay. Wow. And now I've started uh, filling in the in-between weeks with just like an update episode gotcha. where I, okay. you know, give some news and stuff myself. But awesome. We do the show every two weeks, and we didn't get responses at first, like the emails, like you, we, we would get on the TPD, but once we started making forum threads... For the Fortnite question, we started getting answers. Right, from. right. And along the same lines, there was uh, there was a couple of April Fool's pranks that were really awesome Those that we played. Oh, yeah. The first one uh, <laughs> uh, was about Rotom. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cell phone this Rotom. Was cell phone that Rotom. That actually went pretty viral. Yeah, it did. It was great because, and, oh, man, years later. Oh, look, Josie has the photo of it. That's oh, awesome. Oh, man. Let me see. <laughs> it was just enough blur from the flash it's to got, make it right, like a flash on the phone, and it looks kind of like a Rotom on a cell phone. <laughs> level twenty, yeah. Thundershock, confuse right, uproar, <laughs> <laughs> and overheat. You all, well, yeah, it's a cell phone. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the batteries always blow up. I right, guess that right. one makes it sense. It was the perfect timing, up though. Level. Oh, uproar! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, okay. It was perfect timing because it was at the exact time when they were releasing the different Rotom forms. Right. That were right. Right. And no one knew anything about how the forums were going to work. Right. So, right. Right. so what we did was we created a, a phone number similar to the voicemail uh, number we had uh, for the podcast. And uh, we – on the podcast, we, ba or ba we basically announced the fact that there was this number. And <laughs> so people would go and call it and, uh, and we uh, – in our Team Rocket voices, we, <laughs> we, we told them, if, oh, if you want to get – uh, cell phone Rotom, you just leave us a message or something like that. That's. Do you want to join Team Rocket? Oh, wait, wait, did, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like they had to like say like convince us that how. Yes, they, they, they had to leave to a message join. as to why they get this like experimental. Why you get, Why you have to? Yeah. Why can? Why would, would should we choose you to join Team right, Rocket? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And so oh, we got so many funny responses. <laughs> I free. Know. Like I, I literally had to create a, a filter in my in the Gmail account to, <laughs> to to put those in a separate folder so I could listen to them later because it was dozens and dozens and dozens and like they kept coming in too for uh -huh. years. For, <laughs> yeah, we they would trickle in. I like, yeah, every couple of months we'd still get one from a random person trolling the internet. 
Um, another uh, April Fool's prank, prank we pulled was uh, recording a, the Digimon episode. Oh, yes. Oh. The Digimon post. The, the Digimon post. So it was uh, KTDP or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> and um, we just did a straight up episode where we were like, yeah, we're, we're into Digimon now. Yeah, we're <laughs> like, we, yeah, we're dropping this Pokemon thing. What day did that, did that podcast come out? I don't remember. <laughs> that was April 1st. 2008. Eight. Whoa. So that is exactly how many years from the day this is? Five years. Oh, wow. Five, oh, wow. Five. Wait a second. What did we say at the end of that podcast? It was the question of the. <laughs> not the Fortnite. No. <laughs> Lustrum? The Lustrum? Lustrum? Of the Lustrum. That, that, that's right. This is the uh, this is the five-year anniversary of the time we said <laughs> five years from now we'll have another question of the Lustrum. That's hilarious. <laughs> the only reason we know this, of course, is because Joe C is a trivia person, and he put it into his phone. I put it <laughs> five in, years I put ago. Put it in iCal five years ago because I've got this obsession with things things working out and closure, and, uh, so I, and, and it just worked out that this weekend is is basically the five year anniversary. And, uh, and, and the only reason we picked that time frame is because Joe he was looking for like, what's other weird time <laughs> yeah, limits. Yeah, exactly. I was looking for. Uh, a measure of time that was like you know unusual like for like a fortnight and so the only one i found was lustrum <laughs> such a random i've never heard anyone else say lustrum ever in my life me neither <laughs> <laughs> that's a good trivia question uh. kids in the sat work <laughs> um so what was our fort uh lustrum question it was something along the lines of what's your favorite season of digimon because we didn't know anything right. else to ask. <laughs> yes that's right uh, i'm sticking by season uh four yeah, um, I, I personally uh, preferred season two. Season three was my favorite. Uh, I'm a purist, one or nothing. Ah, <laughs> I hated one and two. Like, really? Honestly, I did really? not care for one and two. But that was so iconic and classic. No, it was like stupid. <laughs> ever since season two ended, they just went through crazy gimmick. Well, but wait, what, wasn't one the one with Agumon? I don't like Agumon. <laughs> he had a really weird voice. I don't like him. We a basically great... just made fun of Digimon this whole episode, by yeah. the way. Yeah, we were all talking. We're like, that's nothing like Pokemon. <laughs> they Digivolve. They don't that's, that's nothing like evolving. It's... I love how remember the live was it? Um, I love how they have two versions of every Digimon game. This one's Dawn and Dusk. Pokemon has stupid things like diamonds and pearls. What is this, like a girls game? That's nothing like each other. Yeah. Digivolving is obviously better than evolving because there's a Digi in front of it. <laughs> exactly. It's logical. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, that was a fun. We recorded that on a train. Using what? <laughs> what did we record on? Like, did you have an iPad at the time or uh, iPhone? It was probably a phone or yeah. something. Yeah. I was going to say, tin cans on a string, but that sounds a little You better. can hear the train, I know, in it, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, so what are some of the other cool uh, regular features we had? We did, like, the news. We like, did a news the, the thing. News. And then we had, like, a jingle for the news, didn't we? Oh. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Which I hear in a... Every... Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an, after, it's after we a, use that, a, like, almost Macintosh every other pop... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. All the theme music for TPT, all the sound effects we use, they're pretty much, like, standard Apple music. <laughs> and it was funny, because some people would approach me every now and then and be like, where can I get that song? I like yeah. that song. <laughs> I need that MP3. Can yeah. you send it to me, bro? I'm like... Just just get an Apple computer. Yeah. All you have to do is spend a thousand dollars. That's, that's, that's for the cheap I think ones. I remember asking you that exact question. There's yeah. a bunch of uh, yeah, like a bunch of YouTube videos even I watch where they use that as their intro, and every time I hear it, I I just think of you TBT. know TBT. It's, you know, it's, it's, they they stole that. Oh wait. Um, and then so I mean I guess eventually we uh, transitioned the site over to the name the Palette Tribune. Do you, Casey, do you remember exactly why we did that? I think I don't remember why we did. I, we, I mean, we wanted to like create our own merchandise. We basically wanted right. to, to like, you know, we wanted to do things that the name didn't really allow us. Right, because we couldn't copy. We had we no copyright. To make it more of our own baby, put it that right. way. I remember that actually started when we went to our first packs, and we actually met with some people at Pokemon USA. Oh yeah, the, right. And they suggested, yeah. oh, that's a great site, but I don't think you should use a Pokemon name. Was yeah, that and that's when we started. Okay. I remember there was like some woman who uh, yeah, worked Bridget. Bridget. I still follow her on Twitter. Bridget I have her. Yeah, I still have her card. 
I'm a sheep. They have Pokemon Company has such nice business cards. It's true. I, they have Pokemon on them. <laughs> they do. Well, that's why. I went to interview for a job there once. Wow. Really? At Pokemon eBay USA. As a co- I was trying to be, I was going to try to be like a, co- a copy or ad writer for them. And I just remember that uh, – I just feel like I was almost too enthusiastic, and that was my problem. I'll uh, do anything. I'll do anything. I was just like, yeah, I'm into this. I I, I like Pokemon. And they, were, they almost seemed surprised that I liked Pokemon, and I was just like, mm, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were some of your guys' favorite guests we had on the show? I liked it when Joe C. was on. Me yeah, too. That was, that was my favorite. <laughs> that was a good one. I yeah, only I'll admit. I, we had to re-record yes. that episode so many times. <laughs> the I I, I what I, episode was that again? The uh, the old man. Uh, uh, no, the yeah. adult trainers oh, episode. Adult, adult trainers, trainers. <laughs> right, right. I remember. I tell this story to people. So, like, I feel like such a fake because like that, that was the big secret of that episode was like. Is that one day I feel like we were talking about I was making some anecdote about Advance Wars or something That's like right. that. Oh one. right, yeah. And every time I told the story, you had a laugh as if you never heard it before. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like, ha ha, that's funny. And I'm like, yeah. Oh my god, wait to the surprise ending. <laughs> and then, like, and then we just, had so many technical difficulties that day. Yeah, they're awesome. just like, oh, uh, the memory's full. We got to do it again. <laughs> right, oh, right. you won't believe this. Uh, if, Blew up this time. Well, we did it like five times. I'd say it, about no. five times. No. Yeah, that seems about right. And every time Josie just went with it, and his fake laugh got better every time. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at everything. <laughs> Not that hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, do you have any other favorite guests? Uh, uh, it was fun when we oh, had uh, you got Jack DeVries. Yeah, from IGN. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh yeah, he's still there, right? I tried to talk. He is, he's like an editor now. Oh. Like he was just like the. the the guy who freelanced for them and wrote Pokemon articles every right. now and then. He, he, has his, editor, right? he has his own website, too. Oh, really? Gamer do, GayGamer.com. Oh, that's I, him? Yeah, that's him. Or it's either GayGamer or Gamer, G-A-Y-M-E-R. Oh, all right. right I, I, I think it's Gamer.com. But that's he does that site, and um, I even I even contacted him not that long ago, like, looking for, like, work someplace. I was, like, trying to reach out to any contact for, like, you know, links to jobs and stuff. He didn't email me back though, so I don't know. I, I, he, maybe he didn't check that email. Maybe he doesn't check the gamer email that often. I don't know. But uh, his Twitter's active. I follow him on Twitter still. And uh, he still, yeah, you're right though. He is an editor over at IGN now, so he definitely wow. ra- rolled up the ranks. Do you guys remember uh, Pika Belchu? That's who I was going to mention. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I, I bear I. I'd completely forgotten her, about her until her you just existence. Said it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, she was, uh, of course, the uh, the lady who listened to our podcast, but also was. Oh, actually, no, she started listening to our podcast after we had uh, mentioned her somewhere. I think because mm-hmm. I think uh, she had a she, new like, story. Herself, I think, but I think she had yeah, a... we had a new story about her because she she's basically this lady who is has like a giant collection of Pikachu toys, right? Right, and I think she bought one of the. One of the po- oh, right. one of the po- uh, Pikachu cars, retrofitted the, cars. Right. right, the Pikachu Beatles. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. It was, it was, she became active at the forum for just a little bit, actually. Yeah, right. she, and she contributed post <clears throat> Right, right. Oh right! Remember this? That's really? Oh, yeah, she did. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I forgot we had Poke dolls and right. We had lots of great stuff on the Poke forum. credits so was, and that, that, that was like I think that was the, the day of TBT. It was yeah, when we right. had the forums and we had like a shop and we had you know tournaments like, going. And, all the we time. had the and, and, and contest, currency like, and decorate a pumpkin, decorate a Christmas stocking. <laughs> right, right. Everything was, was built so jankily back then. Now that I'm more technical and know yeah. all this stuff, <laughs> just looking back at all the things we did at TBT, it was so taped together exactly yeah <laughs> like uh, to this day i, I or well uh, this is not how i'm going to release the epi- this episode but till up until the last episode i still used iweb to upload the podcast because really? it was easy yeah what? so so and so the url would stay the same oh. yeah. i didn't really know what else to do other than just yeah. keep on using <laughs> iweb uh but now i'm gonna have to figure out i'm, I'm i've have gone into you know xml uh, rss right. documents before and you know I'm just glad he learned all his lessons and mistakes on TPT. that on TPT on that site. So now I can. That's why I recruited him. Like, all right, you got all your mistakes out. All right. <laughs> There's so many bad the practices. If you, if you remember the chat room after the Zat chat room, mm-hmm. yeah. it, it would pull every single every single time someone inputted a comment or logged in, uh-huh. it would have like an SQL query that would break the server constantly. Yeah, yeah, Is that what yeah. was going yeah, on? Yeah, it was that. Every single time someone left the chat, it, the, the back end would keep a log of everyone's responses and it would break the server. I still log into that chat randomly. 
It still kicks me out every like ten minutes for whatever reason. Yeah, it's, it's like almost completely it's broken. broken. I still I still go into the, the old Zat chat like once a year. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Not to see if anyone's that, in there. That was so that uh, the fact that it was all centralized yeah. brought everyone together. Yeah, but right? everyone hated that. Everyone hated that we switched. Yeah. Even though it was, de- I mean, it definitely was better. I love though, like when I go in there and like because they'll still have the comments of anyone else who'd been in there for like the last forty eight right. hours. And, like, if they just talk to themselves or something, I would go into the chat still, like, to this day, and just see, like, a comment, like, nobody here, dot, 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 again. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, almost, like, like sometimes you'll even see, like, someone else maybe logged in, like, two hours later and just missed them. And it's just, like, right, you just right. want to see these people hit each other. Every once in a while, I, I used to log into that. I haven't been there in a, quite a while now, but, uh, you know, people like Shiny were still just, like, hanging out. Wow. There, you know? <laughs> Last one at that, Shiny's been with us for a well, very wow, long time. Now he's still, still in the TP3. Yeah. Cool. He's actually still in the new site. Wow. Awesome. Mm. That's, really, that's really cool. But yeah, we've met so many awesome people over the years. Like, um... Ooh. I have an entire list on my phone of TP tiers who, who that I met up with in real life. Oh, I'm right, going to read right. it out. So I have here Justin V, Joe C. Hey, look, they're in the room. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Arcanator, Ephraim, Dragoon Master, Ultimate Trainer 32, Annie, Carrots, Ice Devimon, Adele, Trogdor, Dak, Rin, Seth, Steve, a.k.a. Yoshi1001 uh, oh, from... You uh, him in real life? Steve. Yeah, he was. He came to my apartment actually. Really? We recorded a podcast together. Oh, that's right. He was from the from Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Radio. Radio thing. Oh, Steve Reich. Yeah, Steve Reich. Oh, Pokemon Prep, Poke Press, Poke, Poke Press. Press. No. And also, he does that that music station though. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, P I R N. P I R N. It's good. It. Yeah. Is this still going? Still um, going. Really? Yeah. I've met Martha, Rhea, Statcat. Dave and I believe there's a few more that I don't have on this list, but you Ultimate get the point. Trainer? Uh, he's really, he's on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was the one who Ultimate made the, uh, 32. No, the, the the quiz shows for us? Arcanator. That was Arcanator. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Those were great. That was one of my favorite. Uh, Blaine's gym. Yeah, because we didn't know them half more than half the time. I think I think we had a pretty decent record. Maybe we were like fifty fifty with the questions. More like thirty six. <laughs> yeah, we were terrible. But he <laughs> wrote one on the spot at PAX, and we still like. <laughs> what is the fastest Pokemon in Generation Two? Like, boom. Like, <laughs> Do you remember who it was? Yeah, it was Crobat. Um, huh? Crobat. Yeah, Crobat. Oh. Yeah, I would not know that. <laughs> and uh, I just remember, like, because, like, I, at least you got to give us credit. We could have cheated That's and true. looked at answers before the show, but we always recorded and put it <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, we always pressed play on that, and that was the right. first time we were hearing it when you were listening to us. So right. Listen and to that us. was it. It was, it was kind of fun. And, and you know what? The best part is, since we got it wrong, I meant you could play along at home and try to get the right answer. <laughs> and, and yell, at, yell at, your, at your computer going, how could you mess that up? It's so easy. That's Grobat, you dumbass. I'm slack, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And then we we also did like a ton of videos that were really cool. Um, we did I did some pearler bead videos. We did that Christmas special where we were talking <laughs> oh, about like per- crafts that you. I Pokemon forgot crafts. about the like, Christmas. Cool. And then we were sitting on my couch and we were like clicking tea. Going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. I love it. Yeah, you did yeah, like all, you did that whole somewhere. series when you went to Japan. All right, so, yeah, right? that was that was really fun. I'm actually wearing my, a t-shirt that I bought in one of my uh, YouTube videos <laughs> oh, right wow. now. It's the Pikachu shirt that says. Uh, can't get through. It's, <laughs> I guess it's sort of a reference to Winnie the Pooh. I think he's stuck oh, in a yeah, tree. Now I tree. It, and then yeah. on the other, you could, but you can only see his butt on the right. front side. <laughs> and then on the back, you see Pikachu. Oh, oh, Pikachu you stock. see Pikachu's face on the other side he's of the tree. Like, cutely angry. <laughs> Remember we, when we went to one of the releases at the Nintendo World Store? We interviewed oh, the yes. James. The, the, the Jesse, was it? Uh, or, uh, no, right. plus, that guy dresses up as Jesse also. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh Was oh, it plus size, fat, James? Fat, fat plus James? Plus size James. Plus size James dressed. That's James. what we And I was dressed in now because at this time, at this was a point where uh, we started selling our own Team Rocket shirts. Right, right. <laughs> right. And I was wearing that, and I was like, you know, semi in, in costume. Uh, I just happened to wear a hat at the time that was fitting and then uh, I just had this shirt on but he had this whole James costume and the interview <laughs> that we gave like I'm trying to keep a straight face and interview this guy seriously <laughs> but I'm trying to lead him on to say horrible things <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh like yeah like well, listen okay so uh, no matter what Casey did that day like what it didn't even pale in comparison to uh, some people mm-hmm. blamed that guy for releasing, like, basically doing a, a, a pirate Wi-Fi broadcast to, to hack, to, like, um, 
send a, a Pokemon to people's games, like for what? an event that would actually break their games. There was something oh, like really? that. Really? Yeah. That's so Team Rocket. That's awesome. That is so Team Rocket. <laughs> but, he, 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 but they like sort of like put a big picture of him that was like, <laughs> you know, oh, it was God. obviously not him. Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and, and, and also, in my defense, it doesn't take a lot of coaxing to get him to say horribly, you know, silly or embarrassing things. All right, I didn't really have to try. I, tried, I just had to be serious, interview him. We were very professional. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty entertaining. It was, it was, it was good. It was good. Mm-hmm. And um, and everyone else just looking in horror as I'm talking to again, this man. Again, he also joined the forums for a while, oh, and it man. was interesting. We've we had we, some pretty cool yeah. forum members of the year. There was. Uh, our uh, cartoonist friend. Yeah, TV's Kyle. TV's, TV's Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. He made uh, artwork. He made really for us. awesome yeah. artwork of all, of all like, the forum mods, mods at the time. I still love his Moo Beard the Pirate, and I really wish oh, Cartoon yeah. Network it was actually picked it up. Picked, I wish they picked it up. Or was it Nickelodeon? It was, maybe a Nick it was on Nickelodeon. Uh, it was Nick on Nick Nick Nicktoons, and it was a short. They actually aired it for a while. On yeah, Nicktoons. it was like it was a really pilot, good. and I wish he got to do more of those. That would have been awesome. Bridget from He's... Pokemon USA was on our uh, forums for a while as well. Yeah, oh. yeah. She does the artwork for a lot of the Pokemon logos here mm-hmm. in cool. America. Nice. Mm. Um, who else? Anyone else of note that was on the forum? Oh. Just so many. Yeah. yeah. I can't think of anyone else. But I just remember we would get emails every so often. Like, this is before we did anything like you know big. But when we got like an actual email from like someone at Nintendo who was just like, you know, hey, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, you guys just, are being... We, yeah, we just got a random email from a, a Nintendo employee that just enjoyed the show. Or yeah. Like, and you're like, oh, my God, that's all... Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it wasn't actually Nintendo being like, all right, you guys yeah. are hired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, no. uh, but, you know, yeah. Also, like, I know just from my talking to uh, some of the guys that run, like, the Street Pass New York, uh, they... Because they kind of work with Nintendo, but, like, Nintendo's very big on, like... Nothing you do can be considered an official Nintendo. endorsement or Nintendo anything. Oh, brother. But they just got, you know, they're very protective of that mm. stuff. So it's just the fact that the guy from Nintendo mm. with, like, his Nintendo, like, title in the email would contact <laughs> us in any way is, you know, it was an accomplishment for a, you know, a site that was just, you know, a couple of guys being right. silly about Pokemon, but it was it made us feel happy. And Didn't someone contact you on Twitter recently to try to get us on their podcast? Yes, it was the PKMN. Uh, oh, that's uh, that other, yeah, that's the, uh, that's, well, that's one of the really su- popular it's super ones. It, it's super effective. It's super effective, yep. yeah. Because um, I happened to talk to them, I think, yeah, it was on Twitter. I just kind of wanted to say, I, I forget why I even wanted to talk to them. They've mentioned... TPT a couple of times on the show, and I asked like, yeah, if they were if they knew me from that, and they were like, oh yeah, no, what he's at, like, I'm a I'm a fan of that show, in fact, and um, uh, I was just trying to promote the pocket players, I think, and I wanted to have someone on from a, you know, a current Pokemon podcast or something, maybe you know, talk about it, and uh, they said they were interested in maybe us doing each other's show, but I don't know them. We haven't talked to them since, but I'm still interested in possibly doing that, you know. But yeah, they were they were the pretty cool sounding guys. Cool. So, is there anything else that I missed? Like, that's pretty much. Um, Do you guys remember TPT Day? Oh right, well, yeah. of course we had a, an annual celebration <laughs> uh, on uh, J- July third. Was there was right? one year we really went all out and had yeah, everything we, scheduled. We we, and... we had like a, yeah, we had we had like panels, we had like live episodes, uh, we had like a tournament. We we went all out. It was like the first couple times we did that. It was like we, it was like almost like a miniature online convention yeah it was crazy it was, and we had was great over like, 60... we've done so many awesome things with this it's kind of insane <laughs> oh, yeah. it was a lot of fun but it was, it was a lot fun. of work it, it's, it's fun to have more free time in your life to do stuff like yeah, that yeah. you know it's just yeah. it, you miss it it's like you know, what, you know, we always talk about how like when you're a kid you had infinite time so you could beat a hundred video games you know and you just had all those games and now it's like if I beat a video game and like you know every six months I feel lucky. Like, yeah lucky <laughs> And, you know, it's just like we could do all that stuff then. It's just like I don't even know how even then when I was in my semi-professional life, I don't even know how I had the time then, you know, to do all this stuff. We're and all so, adults now. And Joey did like, you know, he, he, he did crazy amounts of stuff too. Yeah. And he was like. Especially for that site. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how we found time to do it. Was, it was a lot of fun, but I, I only, I actually wish we could have done it, like, you know, kept it up like the way it Keep was going. before. But, uh. Yeah, it just Hard. became too much. You know, uh-huh. life gets in the way. And life does the, get the in the scale life. of what we were doing was insane, though. Yeah, no, how considering much like, we had. Exactly. right, yeah. yeah, like if we had a staff, you know, <laughs> me, you know, and we kind of did have a staff. I mean, all the people who pitched in yeah. were more or less a staff, but you know, 
You can only do something like that and not get paid for it. <laughs> it's like the Joker said, never, if you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> And what was that? The, the Dark Knight Rises, I think. What was the second movie in that Batman yeah. trilogy? Uh, Dark, Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight. Yeah. Oh, that's just the Dark. Knight. Knight. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. One of those things. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have changed anything yeah. about, about mm-hmm. my experience with TPT. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah. Gave me a lot of experience. Gave me a lot more confidence in actually like projecting my voice and, mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff, and just you know, experience with websites and. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't have done half the things I've done with Subway Art Blog without yeah. the background I had. And... It teaches you a lot about how to build a community, and that's something that like I think is super important. And it's actually kind of a pretty uh, important and popular skill. It's like actually a sought after skill in like you know, for, for, it, yeah, community building is huge right now for any company. And uh, just to have that skill, like it feels good to know that like you know. You know how to get people motivated. You're, you're, you know, it's between character and doing fun stuff like that, and I think it's paid off a lot in you know molding who I am and what I can do these days. It's absolutely the same for me. I think uh, at my current job, the biggest reason why they hired me was because of the website and how much uh, technical experience I had at a young age. Oh, wow. Yeah. So TPT definitely gave me an avenue to stretch. Yeah, didn't you put text. TPT on your resume once too? Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh gosh! I was super reluctant to put it on my resume. I, 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 I well, first off, I think I only got this job because I told the guy I'll work for like pennies. But uh, anyway, my first like yeah, real professional writing gig for a magazine. It was a, um, it, it was a financial it's magazine. A debt collection magazine. It was, oh my god! I wrote about debt collection and this uh, subprime so mortgages. Depressing. I wrote about bank technology. <laughs> Is that along this, around the same time as the actual subprime mortgage, like crash? Cr- I don't, yes. Yeah. How to put pressure on Cheapskate to get him to pay up? Yeah, they had to stop the magazine quickly after because oh wow, all we were writing about is how this is going away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I put that on there as one of my things, just because we wrote a lot of blogs on that uh, in that in that company. So I was like, ah, I have blog experience, and so like my first day on the job, you know, he sends an introductory email to everybody in the company and say, hey, uh, this is this is uh, this is Keith, and he's um he's written for the the Pokemon Times and the Pokemon Gamer site, and I was like, all right, hey, he added like another site and got his name wrong and called it whatever. <laughs> Wow. And B, it's like, great, now everyone thinks I'm here, I'm, you got some freaking, you know, Pokemon writer to write for your damn <laughs> financial blog, and I'm just, like, mortified and horrible. And I just remember some uh, woman who joined up there later on, who didn't get to see that email, thank goodness, but uh, uh, that, super, that job was, like, super stressful. And um, I just, you know, I saw that she was breaking down, like, the first day, and I was like, hey, let's go for a walk, let's, like, you know, Get your bearings. Let's let's not run out of your car. Because literally, people left on their first lunch break and never came back on that job. Wow. Like literally, they'd come in, they'd sit down, they'd High look pressure. at their screen, and like, no, I, I'm not doing. That. I can't do this. <laughs> Go out for lunch, never see me. So I was like, oh, she, she 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 looks like she might she be a runner. Crack. Yeah. yeah, she's about to crack. Let's take her. And then like the next day after I took her for a calm down walk, I saw like a, she sent to us a, a link to her blog or something like that, and she said like. Um, you know, he 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 calmly took me. You know, we 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 walked down the street. Um, he put his hand on my shoulder and reassured me that everything will be all right. Then he told me he worked for the Pokemon Times. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I explicitly put the Palette Tribune and made it as vague as possible. That's good. <laughs> that's smart. No, that's smart. I mean, back then my only experience was that and uh, my gamer. And a fake news organization that a professor of mine made up in in college. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but he would always answer his phone at his, at his at like Brooklyn News Service. He would always answer like that because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he knew his students were putting that as a as a reference. Uh, so that was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, definitely though. I mean, you know, I think a lot of people have put stuff from that site on their resume. I know that even like Ducky Von Karma. Oh. Uh, he he puts um, if I, I'm pretty sure he put that on there or whatever he did to help us. But I even told him recently, like, hey, if you're looking to get a job or whatever, why don't you help our site? You know, like the pocket players, and you can put like editor if you like, you know, and you'll actually learn that kind of stuff. You know, I think 
you guys listening to this, if you are interested in this aspect, you can get experience from your own sites and stuff like that. Like, I think that's a great lesson for everyone to know. Like, just make your own fun projects and get your own experience if right, you want. Right. And, and as a matter of fact, like uh, Casey said, he has his own uh, gaming website right now. Mm -hmm. It's thepocketplayers.com. And so, I mean, TPT might, might not be active anymore, but uh, that's a place where a lot of the old TPTers are going mm -hmm. to, like, uh, you know, fill the void in their, in their, in their <laughs> <Yeah>. hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think that's an interesting thing to bring up, though. Like, how, even though we haven't touched that site for how long has it been now? The last time you oh, updated anything I mean, on that site? The last article is probably from a couple of years ago, but uh, I mean, realistically, it hasn't been yeah. fully operational in like probably three, three plus See, years. Something but like there's still people three. in those forums. Like they're not like every day posting, but there's like something there every week, and there's still conversations like going on on there. And that's why I've kept it alive, even though it's like sort of uh, you know inactive in, mm -hmm. in a way. Every but, month. Uh, I mean, eventually I will take it down uh, because it does cost me money every year. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, for now, I, I, at some point I'll probably announce like a date. I'll take everything down. But um, but for now I'm going to keep it alive, uh, especially, you know, because we're releasing a new podcast. I've got to keep it up for a little while now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting, though. Um, there, there was a chance of a, like a rebirth when the uh, KTPT started posting right. on there. Right. Yeah. yeah, I was really happy to see that those guys took some initiative to do that. Yeah, uh, and I think they did a couple of like really good episodes. Bub Man, Bub Man, and uh, yeah, he, he's helping with uh, the Pocket Players now too. He's cool. written a re he's written a review for us already, oh, cool. and he's pretty active on the forums. And uh, Ducky, yeah, they. I think their show was great. I think that they could have been a pretty worthy successor, but I think they hit that same wall of. Well, they're, I think, what, they're in college? college? Yeah, that's tough to pull off. It is, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, we did WTPD after we were both out of college. Right. So. You know, and so, like, yeah, doing that and, you know, it, just doing anything on a regular, because that's, suppose, like, one of the most important things. is like Consistency. Being able to bring it out, at least, like, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever it is, consistently. It's very, very tough. It is very tough, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll remember... Uh, the, I didn't mind going to Joey's place to record. It was the trip home that was always tr uh, uh, tricky because when I would take the train home, that's I when I had my own place. Yeah, yeah, when he had his own place there. Well, I mean, I still do, but yeah, after I got my own. place. After he got his own place, when I would come home from there, like it was just funny because like I've never seen anyone get a ticket for crossing the train tracks. I'm not sure the train tracks crossing carts from one cart to another yeah everyone does that no yeah everyone but i'm the only one who gets a ticket for it at wow. like one in the morning when there's literally on the other train platform like six gang guys getting arrested by cops there. <laughs> and i started chatting they were they were playing clothes hey police. you a troublemaker yeah. <laughs> they were what do you think you're doing they were playing clothes <laughs> cops I just went through the through the carts because there was like a crazy hobo on the the cart I was just on, and I went to this new cart to get away from. And I see these two guys on their side, and I'm just looking at the window, and I start chatting them for whatever reason. I start chatting these guys up. Next stop, they pull out a badge, like you know, that side, sir. I was like, what? did you explain yourself? I did. They like, well, you know, tell it to the judge. <laughs> Oh, gee. well, like, did you get out of it? I no, assume. I did not. I did not. Did you try? Yeah, I had no proof that there was a crazy hobo. It's so New York. You I, don't need proof. I oh. needed proof. <laughs> they gave it to wow. Me. Nice. It was just funny. You know, just coming home late was, that was the only, I didn't mind going there, though. It was fun. Mm. You know. That's why I'm scared of trains. I can't do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> get out of here. They're fun usually, the hobos. They're not like knife wielding homeless beans. people. <laughs> yeah, they're always sitting on the train eating their baked beans in a can on a little campfire <laughs> on a car with their bundle packs wrapped yeah. in cloth at the end of a stick. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, mm. I can't believe it's been so long. So, what, how much? What, it was July 3rd, what year that we started doing this? Mm. Wow. 2007, 2008? I guess it was 2007, because I think yeah, that's I when I graduated. I, was still, I was still in high school. I started listening in 2007. Yeah. yeah. So, July 2007-ish. That was the year I went back to college just for journalism, so I didn't have, like, a full college schedule. Really? I, did, I went back to did college. And I didn't have a job yet at the time, so, oh, wow. like, when I first I, started oh, it, that's why I was able to really yeah. pump to do a lot. Out. Yeah. Well, I, had a, I first got a degree in political science. And then it took me about two years to realize how not helpful that yeah. was. And that's why I went back for journalism. <laughs> right. 
That's what all the kids are doing nowadays. Journalism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which newspaper shall I work for first? No, okay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so this may be the final episode of uh, TPT, but TPT will always be with me like all, for the rest of my life. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. With like, you know, if real life friends like, you know, me and uh-huh. PC hang out with Trogdor on a regular basis. Yeah, now and Adele. Was, and, and Adele, yeah. yeah. He, he was in New York for a while. and Adele and Rin started doing videos for our site now, yeah. too. And Monster I talked Hunter. to them. Yeah, the Monster Hunter thing. And I mean, they, they, they've become just, yeah, regular friends I talk yeah. to. Like, if I, like, if, if something happens, I'm like, oh my God, I crashed my car. Let me text Adele. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, there's even Two, I heard recently that there's uh, two TPTers that are actually dating. Ooh, like, yes. yes. I'm not gonna go into Ooh. details. I won't go into details. Uh, details, details. I, I, I bought I bought a video game from one of them so that they'll have a little more money to spend things on each other. <laughs> yep, yes. yep. I, Pokemon, um, I bought the Pokemon see, Coliseum. Oh right. <laughs> right. The, 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 uh, my ultimate TPT achievement is to have a TPT baby. Uh, oh, <laughs> so uh, get, get working on that. Not himself. He doesn't want to personally. No. Have a TPT baby. <laughs> no. well, <laughs> that that would be technically difficult. <laughs> but is you wait another I want, lustrum. I want, I want a TPT baby to exist. And, yeah. Uh, that, that's that's <laughs> next, next lustrum. Next lustrum. Next lustrum. Is, within the next lustrum. That's the question of the fortnight. <laughs> Which one of you will have a TPT <laughs> baby? <laughs> oh. Get cracking. <laughs> I I say it's gonna be what that trick. You have to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You have to name well, good it. Good luck with that one. <laughs> I want to name any, our uh, kid Ash. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any final comments or? Well, I mean, I just wanted to say TPT affected my life quite a bit. It yeah, took I think, a I think huge, all of us yeah, yeah. yeah, huge portion of my life, and uh, I know that's I that's the greatest thing about it right now. Is like that's why people keep going back to a dead website is because it really like you know it really affected all of us you know in, in a way that was just like it was a great time in yeah. all of our lives you know? yeah great experience like through and through. I, I just think, uh, you know, if there's anything I'd say, it's like, you know, it's just learning that lesson of if you feel there's something missing from the world, make it. it help make right, it. That's right. what this whole thing was. About. We felt there was something that should be. I, I saw a tree. I, saw, I didn't see a tree. I saw where a tree should, should be, be. <laughs> you know, yes. and that's what we did. And if you ever feel that, go with it because chances are if you really want something – you're not the only one. You're not a freak who's the only one who wants whatever right, podcast. Yeah, I mean, that's. Uh, I started a website recently. Uh, just, It's a very simple, simple website that's just a calendar of, of, of uh, graffiti art events in New York City. And I was like, you know what? I, re- I really want this to exist mm-hmm. so I could use it myself. So I went ahead and made it. Right. And sure enough, other people like care about it too, which is yeah. really cool. So when it comes to making stuff, you always make it to something that you'd like and then attract the kind of people that appreciate the same thing. Right. So if you feel adamantly about yeah. something, that's that's what you got to do. Right. Um, anything? Any final words? Sure. Um, just I'm very grateful for all the people that I met on on TBT, and you know it was you know it, even if it didn't last forever, it was it it was there and it served a purpose, and it got a lot of good people to know each other, and um, and you know we'll still all keep connections. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, and I just want to thank everybody who, anyone who's ever listened, and like you know anyone whose name I didn't mention on on <laughs> in this episode, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah, all the guests we've ever had, all the people who support us, all the people who uh, flame board us. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Even the um, even the pukal people, <laughs> yeah, pukal, <laughs> right? Of oh yeah, we can't I forget. forget that. Was I forgot that we can't we can't forget to mention how one of we, our proudest moments. Yes, we trounced pukal in a tournament. That's right. That was great. <laughs> they challenged us. We stood up. And we TPT. That's, that's P- stood their, up. That's P U C L pukal. <laughs> At, emphasis on the puke. <laughs> it's, it's good to start flame war before you're going away. From <laughs> good luck starting this one. Yeah. Continuing this flame war. Yeah. I don't know, but I guess um, maybe we should all say uh, our the outro at, together if everyone right. thinks it's well, ready for it. Before we do that, um, how are we going to keep track of everyone? Uh, keep track of everybody. Yeah. We're passing the torch on to another yeah. website. Right? Oh, that's true. Yes, that's right. I, I do want... I mean, we mentioned it a bunch of times yeah. in this episode, but... Uh, I guess, we'll yeah. Say it one more time. I, I, I want the Pocket Place to be the spiritual successor of the of the Palette Tribune. I want it to be... I, I've even carved out, like, a special, like, home on the forums there 
there's a place for everyone to reconnect with the other members of the forums from you know the, the TPT. Um, we reference it a lot, and I, I even gotten some mentions like people are like, "What is this TPT you keep talking about?" And I had to explain it to them. Um, but it, it, it's there, and it, you know, I'm still Casey, and Joey's still Joey, and he's going to be on some shows here and there, and JV's the same JV. Um, you know, we're all there, and the soul is still there. It's just it's we're growing up. You know, that's the kind of it. It's just, everything changes. Everything has to end. And I think that's really what it was. It was just moving on to the next step of our lives. And that's kind of where we're all at. And uh, it's crazy thinking about all the kids that joined TPT and now they're growing up to be I know. professionals. Right. I can't. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Like, Adults in college. That, like, <laughs> four grader who gave me that shiny Mew is probably, like, you know, 17, 20. He's probably the mayor of... of, of uh... With, with, city right with seven kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, man. It's kind of crazy and how time flies. It's crazy to think there's people who've never played, like, blue and red, you know? <laughs> like, there's people who were born with that Diamond and Pearl. That X and Y might be their first Pokemon ever. You know, you know what I also I daydream about every now and then is like uh, like a ten year uh, reunion? TBT reunion. Oh, Jesus. Like we all just like we're all. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> curse attack. Oh, curse attack. Not my time. I didn't <laughs> It took how many episodes for me to yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're to go, we're to go out on a, on a good on a one, bang. Joey. Uh, I almost made it the whole time. Um, no, uh, I, I daydream about us all, like, we're all going to be, like, adults and jobs and whatever. Um, and, and, yeah, I just daydream about having, like, a 10-year, 15-year, whatever reunion. I hope I'll still be alive. <laughs> Joe, Joe Seals show up in his zombie form. <laughs> oh, yikes. He would actually be hooked up on a crane. Oh, jeez. Crane. crane. Cane. Cane. <laughs> no, like an oxygen an tank. Oxygen. <laughs> hey, he's lost a lot of weight. He oh, <laughs> does not need a crane to lift him. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, good times. Yeah, it was good times. Yeah, like Pokemon times. So I mean, you know, this site may be gone, but uh, and you probably have found your new outlets or whatever. But you know, always you know, always look forward to the next thing because you know what, something new can't start until the old things go away. That's right. true. And that's just what this is. It's just you know, one thing going away that just means there's something new and awesome, and you can't stay in there. What's that URL again? <laughs> <laughs> the Pocket Players. Dot com. That's plural, Pocket Players. And you can find us on iTunes if you look up the Pocket Players on iTunes. And uh, we've, we're up to how many episodes now? We're doing like 12. 12. Oh, that many? Wow. Yeah, oh, 12 episodes wow. now. Yeah. And we got the Monster Hunter video series. So if you're playing the Monster Hunter on 3DS, you can see Rin and Adele showing how to use all the weapons. They're and actually doing a pretty good job. It's been, I'm impressed. We got a lot of YouTube subscribers. Yeah. You know, going there and... I mean, you know, all the other information, like our Twitters and stuff, is on that site. So, I really, check it out, guys. If, you, if you're listening to this, it's the same thing. It's just JV and me bantering and talking about the same kind of stuff. And we still have Pokemon Mondays. Every Monday on the Pocket Players is owned by Pokemon. And it's Pokemon Mondays. So, I wonder if April 1st is on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, um, so this is Joey and KC and... Joe C, Justin V, three, two, one. Stay out of the tall grass! No, don't let it end! No! <laughs> if he doesn't hit stop, the show never has to end. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'll break his fingers! No. Hit the button, Frank. <laughs> it's Windows, I don't care if the machine dies.